Hello friends, in this video, we will see the type 4 problems of time speed distance. Okay, so let us assume a person is traveling from his home to office. On the first day, he traveled with 20 kilometers per hour. 20 kilometers per hour. And he reached office at 7 pm. Okay, so on the second day, he traveled with 40 kilometers per hour and reached office at 5 pm. And reached office at 5 pm. So to reach office at 6 pm, what should be his speed? What should be his speed? Okay. So on the first day he traveled with 20 km per hour and reached office at 7 pm. On the second day he re he traveled with 40 km per hour from home and reached office at 5 pm. So to reach office at 6 pm, what should be his speed? Okay. So, in the both the days, he is traveling from home to office. So, in both the cases, the distance is constant. So, I am taking the distance as, as it is a constant, so I can take any value. But I am taking the LCM of both the speeds. So, distance is equal to LCM of 20, 40, which is going to be 40 kilometers. Okay. So, 40 kilometers. If distance is 40 kilometers and the first day is traveling with 20 kilometers per hour, that means he takes 2 hours. And the second day is traveling with 40 kilometers per hour and distance is 40 kilometers, that is he will take 1 hour. So, 40 kilometers. So, the difference between 2 hour and 1 hour is 1 hour. Okay, so 1 hour is 40 kilometers. But the difference between 5 pm and 7 pm is 2 hours. 2 hours, right? So, 2 hours corresponding to 80 kilometers. So, this is the actual distance between his home to office. So, his home to office actual distance is 80 kilometers. Okay? So, actual distance is 80 kilometers. So, on the first day, he is traveling with 20 kilometers per hour. So, if he is traveling with 20 kilometers per hour to cover 80 kilometers distance, he has to travel 4 hours. He has to travel 4 hours. So that means he is traveling with 20 kilometers per hour and traveled 80 kilometers and reached at 7 pm. Okay. And his travel duration is 4 hours. Okay. So that means to reach at 6 pm, to reach at 6 pm, he has to travel 3 hours only. Okay. He has to travel 3 hours only because if he is traveling for 4 hours, he reaches at 7 p.m. If he travels at 3 hours, then he will reach at 6 p.m. Okay. So, the total distance is 80 kilometers and he has to travel 3 hours. So, then the speed is, speed is equal to distance by time. So, the distance is 80 kilometer and the time he has to travel is 3. So, that is 80 by 3 kilometers per hour. Okay. To reach his office at 6 pm, he has to travel with 80 by 3 kilometers per hour. Okay. So, I hope you got this one. I will repeat once again. So, the actual distance is 80 kilometers. Okay. So, on the first day, he is traveling with 20 kilometers per hour. To cover 80 kilometers with 20 kilometers speed, he has to travel 4 hours. Okay. So, that means if he is, if he travels 4 hours, then he is reaching at 7 pm. To reach at 6 pm, he has to travel 3 hours duration. Okay. So, the distance is 80 kilometers and the duration of the journey is 3 hours. So, the speed is 80 by 3. Okay. 80 by 3. So, I hope you got this one. Let's see another example. So, the person is traveled with 50 kilometers per hour from his home to office and reached at 6 p.m. And reached at 6 p.m. And the next day, he traveled with 100 kilometers per hour and reached office at 2 p.m. And reached office at 2 p.m. So, to reach office at 4 p.m., what should be his speed? To reach office at 4 p.m., what should be his speed? So, uh, in the both the cases, the distance he traveled is same. So, I am taking that and it is a constant. So, I am taking that one as the LCM of 50, 100. So, it is going to be 100 km. So, I assume the distance between his home to office is 100 km. So, if his home to office is 100 km and first day is starting with 50 km, so he is going to be take 2 hours. 
is going to be the 2 hours and the second day is traveling with 100 kilometers and the distance is 100 kilometers so he will take 1 hour he will take 1 hour so the difference is 1 hour the difference is 1 hour so 1 hour is corresponding to 100 kilometers but the difference between 6 pm and 2 pm is 4 hours so that means 4 hours corresponding to 400 kilometers that means the actual distance between his home to office is 400 kilometers and the first day is traveling with 50 kilometers per hour so to cover 400 kilometers he has to travel 8 hours so that means on first day he travels 8 hours with 50 kilometers per speed and reaches office at 6 pm ok ok so to reach at 6 pm he is traveling 8 hours journey so to reach at 4 pm he has to travel 6 hours he has to travel 6 hours ok so the distance is 400 kilometers and his journey duration is 6 hours ok journey duration is 6 hours so the speed is given by distance that is 400 kilometers by time taken so he has to travel 6 hours duration so that is 6 hours. so that is going to be 2 3 ja and 2 200 so that is speed is going to be 200 by 3 kilometers per hour 200 by 3 kilometers per hour so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel